어, 어! 
on there where you don't, because that's a losing thing. All right, that's what we got in our first ball. Let's go to ball number two. I really would like to have that KitchenAid mixer, but I think I really like to have this red furniture here. So we'll see if we get we'll see if we get lucky as far as that goes. Okay, we don't need another magazine or catalog. All right. Ooh, I'm seeing something through this one. This was hefty. Yes! This is a luxury item. It's oh man, I love this because it's rubbery. <gasps> Look at the lips. Look at that lip sofa. Oh, oh, that's amazing. I love that. I like to have that couch in real life. Got little hairpin legs. That's a luxury item. It is also very rubbery, which is kind of oddly satisfying. Oh. You have to be careful when you open these because things are just gonna flip on out. What are you? Oh man, this one came with instructions. But I have come to find out that you don't really need the instructions. I think that this is a sandwich maker machine and you are ultra rare. Well, this has been a good ball. So, okay, so that, see it's like a little panini press. And then, oh, was I supposed to do this? Wait, oh, maybe I do need to look at the instructions. Okay, so that, there's two dots there. That's gonna go there. Yeah, see that? That one? It's gonna go here? Oh. Okay. Oh! <gasps> I understand. Well, I'm coming to find out that one thing that I need to get in my arsenal of opening these is tweezers. Okay, so we got the pan part all squared away, and you open it up. And inside is your little divided things for your little paninis. See? You get little paninis to go in there. It doesn't close all the way, but that's kind of cute. Okay, next packet. Oh gosh, it's another instruction thing. I think that this, oh, little pieces everywhere, hang on. All right, I gotta refer to the thing. This is rare, it's a garbage bin. We got instructions. We don't need any instructions. Oh, maybe I do need to look at the instructions. At least I don't think we do, because it's just three pieces. So it's a little pink garbage pail. And then you've got your little insert that goes in there, and then your lid. Is it supposed to flip open? No, you just gotta use your fingers, because it looks like it's supposed to have a little step thing. Boop, but you just gotta use your fingers. That's cute, it kind of matches this little pink chair. All right, cute. All right, we got two more to open and this from this ball. Itty bitty, what is this? Oh, this is a soup mug. Oh, okay, I see. Oh my gosh, that's so itty bitty, look at that. Is it KitchenAid? No, it's that Sistema, Sistema soup mug. So it has this little, it has the little handle there. And then it's got the little lid. Apparently you can pour your soup in there and then microwave it. Cute. This is a big one. Oh, and that one is rare. Yes! Oh, I was hoping. So this is KitchenAid and it's the food processor, but don't just stop at the surface because we got to open it up because inside we have, oh my gosh. We've got, well, we have instructions and it makes it look like it's a little uh, owner's manual. But then it's got like the inside styrofoam, which is just plastic, but it's made to look like styrofoam. And then look at that. We've got the food processor on the inside. Oh, the blade just dropped. Little pieces. Note that there are little pieces. All right, let me put this together. So there is the base. And then that goes on there like that. And then the blade, I guess inside there like that. Okay, that pops on the lid. 
close the food processor part and put it on the base. That's pretty cute. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But the funnest part, I think, is this little box that it comes in. And the little styrofoam pieces. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And the box itself is very detailed. Let me show you the box a little bit closer up. Box is very, very detailed. That's so fun. I love that one. All right. Ball number three. Well, so far we haven't gotten any repeats, but you know, once you get to ball three and four, it's usually when you start seeing your repeats. I don't know. Again, I'd really like to have that like mid-century modern looking furniture. But as I'm looking at these two, I would really like to have like this little wall clock and the desk chair. Oh, I didn't tell you that KitchenAid mixer or the food processor is an ultra rare. Just makes you wonder how ultra rare is it? You know, is that just is that just something that they say? Is there truth to that? Inquiring minds want to know. All right, ball number three. Don't disappoint. Oh, okay, we got... Ugh. There's a lot of putting together of things. The, okay, it looks like a surfboard, but it's actually an ironing board. And we get to put it together. Let's see if we can do this without referring to the instructions because it looks simple enough. Okay, so we've got our base there. Okay, there's our little ironing board. It is textured. And we've got the little spot there for the iron. It does adjust though, size. You could put it like that or like that. So that's pretty cute. And that one is common. Common. I don't know if there's an iron. That would be cute if there was. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you are Master Chef. Master Chef saucepan with lid. So we've got that Master Chef branding there. I kind of want to take it out of this packaging thing here to see if the lid and stuff comes off. Oh, it does. I think I might be able to slide it off. So if you take that little pla the little cardboard part off, the lid is upside down in there. So when you take it off, you've got the little gold lid. We even got the little vent hole right there. That's pretty cute. And the bottom of it, it's made to look like it's the metal part of the pan. That one is, what did I say? I think that that one was... Ultra rare, well, well. Oh, we got a table, we got instructions because we got to put it together. Well, I don't think that there's much to putting this together because you just got to pop this on. But the cool thing, look. Ah, maybe we'll get some decoration that we can put with our table and chair. All right, fourth packet in the third ball. Oh, cute, well, we got instructions, but why do you need instructions for this? That wasn't hard. Why do you need instructions telling you how to do this? That was a waste of paper. Now there's no branding, that's the thing. That's the thing that I'm a little disappointed in because I like mini brands because they're a miniature of something that's already branded. So I don't like that part of it. That's kind of the, takes the fun out of it. But there's our little eggs, you know, they do pop out. But there's no branding on it at all. I don't know about that. Oh, no, this feels like magazines. That's like, no, no, it's not. You're flat. Oh, wait, the eggs. Sorry, I didn't tell you what classification the eggs are. Common. And so is this next thing, the chopping board. That's pretty plain. You know, I mean, whatever. That's all for that ball. That wasn't a very exciting one. All right, last ball. Ooh, ooh, we got that. One swoop. All right. Last five. Let's open this one. Oh, we got another Master Chef pan. This particular one is the frying pan. It is also ultra rare. So let's see if we slide this one to the side. Oh, it doesn't have a lid. So it's just the pan. But again, it's it's very detailed. We've got the little hanging hook there. The bottom of it looks like metal. We've got the MasterChef branding on it, which is nice because you don't see that in a several of the other pieces. Very, very cute. It matches our little saucepan. Ooh, you feel smushy. Are you a rug? It's a rug. 
It's a fuzzy pink rug. It's got like silky on one side and fuzzy on the other. And it is a rug. It's ultra rare. Why? That didn't take very much to make, many brands. Why is that ultra rare? What's this? Oh, oh. This is a luck. We got a luxury. Wait, maybe that's not what this is. One eternity later. No. It's common. Never mind. It's a night table. So we got a little drawer, and then we just have to pop the drawer on the stand. And then this just goes in there, like that. It's a little night nightstand. What's in this? It's very, very round and flat. Oh boy, we got the rolling pin to go with our cutting board and our eggs. We gonna bake a cake? Hey, this is the last one. It also feels squishy. We've got instructions because, oh cute. Oh, <gasps> I don't think I need instructions for this, but let me get it together and then I'll show it to you. Okay, I'm glad that I did this and showed it to you after I got it together because I had it on completely upside down. But look, it's the little desk lamp. It reminds me of Pixar. But look, we can put it on our little nightstand. That's cute! Open up the little drawer. Oop, can we put, maybe you need, oop, maybe you need your cheese grater in your drawer. Nope, won't fit. You never know when you wanna wake up and make some cheese. Great, some cheese. We can't fit anything in our little drawer. But that is pretty cute. All right, well that was our mini brand home edition. Did we get, we did not get any repeats. That's incredible. We got no repeats, but I'm, I am a little, I'm disappointed in the magazines, the cutting board and the rolling pin. I think that like they could have put these two things together maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna check these off of our list. I do want to try to get, I would like to get all of these. I really would like to have that KitchenAid mixer. I wonder how hard that one is to get. I did only buy four balls. I kind of wish I would have bought six. That's the that's that's the struggle with these toys is they're kind of expensive. They're seven ninety nine per ball. So you feel a little odd spending that amount of money on these silly little things. But if it makes your heart happy, do it up. Make your little heart happy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Stay tuned. I do have some more that I'm going to be opening very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the mini brands love. Go out and get you a ball or two and join in on the fun. And let me know if you got any of these ones that I haven't gotten yet. And let me know too, how rare do you think the rare and the ultra rare really, really are? I don't know. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.